If you're young and inexperienced, you might have come to a conclusion that actually is errant. Uh, that's just how that is. We, we think about things and we conclude certain things and sometimes the conclusions we come to are not right. One of the, one such conclusion is the idea that if you do the absolute least that you can in order to accomplish a given thing, you're the best off that you can possibly be. Well, the problem ends up being a lot of times that that it proves not to have been enough and, and, and people look at you and they question whether or not you're really suitable or fit for whatever it is, is that you're doing. And that's why I wanted to talk today on the uh, idea of the bare minimum on the daily summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt, and today is Thursday, the 9th of September, 2021. That means tomorrow, or tomorrow will be Friday, the 10th of September, just to keep that in mind of 2021. So that weekend coming up real quick. Um, welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble on the podcast and on YouTube. And the subject for today is going to be the bare minimum. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and run through my notes to kind of give you an idea of what my perspective on this is so that you can know what the video is going to kind of be saying as a, as a whole. There's little doubt striking a balance can be hard. Do you do the bare minimum or do you do more? If more, how much more? I'll tell you this. Doing the least you can get away with is virtually never in your best interest. That said, if you're like me, you'll over-engineer everything. That's maybe not as bad as scraping by, but it will often cause as many problems as it will fix. As I implied at the beginning of my notes, it's difficult to decide where to, quote, stop, end of quote. Most of the time, though, it's well worth it to figure that out. Sometimes you'll go over, others you won't go far enough. As you gain experience though, it becomes easier to figure out what makes sense. If you assume I only need to do what will cause me to scrape through, I pretty much assure you you'll generally find that's a bad plan. It may not be easy to seek some reasonable place above the bar, but it, uh, it's almost always worth it. So. The idea really is not super complicated, and I'm not going to belabor it too much, but if you live a life where you do the absolute minimum on everything, the bare minimum, the bottom dollar, the bottom, you know, the rock bottom of what you need to do, what you're going to figure out in the course of time is that, first of all, what you thought was the minimum, it wasn't. People actually expected more from you than they said when they said what they wanted or when they implied what they wanted or whatever it happens to be. Or you did something that you thought would get you the results that you wanted and you found that people don't even imply, but they just expect more from you. I'll say it again. I am an over-engineerer. I'm one of those guys who, given the opportunity, will generally choose to engineer something past where it really needs to be done. And sometimes that's actually a good thing. In fact, I've learned over the course of time that if you over-engineer, a lot of the time what will happen is if you're careful not to go too far overboard, you actually make it so that people will ask for other things later and you'll be able to go, oh yeah, I built it to do that. I'm a software developer by trade, so engineering is what I do. In fact, they like to refer to us as software engineers. That's kind of unfair in a way because there are a lot of people who have taken that engineer title like, uh, you know, uh, civil engineers and electrical engineers and electronics engineers of various kinds that have done a whole lot of work that I didn't have to do in order to glean the title of software engineers, people like to call me. But the point is my job is to make things work in good ways. And what that means is I have to be careful not to over-engineer too badly or what I'll end up doing a lot of times is make things slow and stodgy. But at the same time, I have to make sure that I do not do the bare minimum. If I do the bare minimum, I'll pay for it later. Regardless of what happens to anybody else, the chances are exceptionally good I'll pay for it later. OK, because somebody will say, well, I really wanted to do this or to do that after I've made it do this other thing that they wanted to do. And I'll go, oh, well, I have to do a whole bunch of work to make that happen. I know people who are fairly successful at getting people to accept the idea that they have to do a whole bunch more work to get that to happen. I'm not one of those people. Mostly if I tell people stuff like that, one of two things is going to happen. One, they're going to be disappointed in what I've done. 
Two, they're going to decide it's not worth it to do the other work, and I'm going to, quote, lose work as a result. And by the way, work that would have been really generally good ideas much of the time. Sometimes both of those two will happen, right? The point I'm making here is this, though. In the end, what you count the bare minimum to begin with may not really be the bare minimum. But even if it is, if you over, if you do more, if you add more value to whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to find that people typically are going to be happier with you so long as you don't take excessively long to do whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, right? Whatever it is that they're looking for you to do. So the better you get at providing more than is asked for, but not taking excessive amounts of time or, or like I say, causing something to be slow and pokey as a result of what you do or uh, causing something to be too big or whatever it is, whatever various things come out there. The better you get, the better you get at those things, the more likely it is that you're going to find people are happy with what you're putting out there. But the one thing I can tell you with almost not with certainty because there are certain people who will be happy with this. But the one thing I can tell you with almost certainty is that most people really would prefer that you give them more than what they ask for. They don't want you doing the bare minimum. They may think that that's okay initially, but when they realize that they're not getting what they want out of what you give them, they will come to the understanding that that's a problem and they will come to expect of you to do more than the bare minimum when you do what you do. This is just something you're going to see as you go through life, and I'm just pretty sure of that. And here's the thing. If you don't just do that absolute floor value uh, kind of work, most people are going to see in you a value that's going to make those people look at you when it comes time to you know, hand you more responsibility and more authority. So that pay raise or whatever that comes as a result of the fact that they've asked you to do things and you've done more than they expected, right? Pay raise and title increase and and ultimately move moving to different jobs. Look, I've worked in places where because I did more than I absolutely had to in that place, other people tried to, to win me over to a different place. Uh, you know, because they saw that I was somebody that they could count on to do more than what was just expected, just the minimum, right? Trust me, and particularly, this is particularly true if you're young. Be careful not to overdo it. Be careful not to make yourself slow. Be careful not to over-engineer things to the point where people are not happy with you. But don't do the least you can do. Don't do that. That's really a bad idea. I promise. You may think that it's not. It is. And I'm just going to say this again. I talked about this before in another video. Um, when you do the bare minimum, you end up with shoddy workmanship a lot of the time. In fact, people will say, well, this is the, the least I can do. Yeah, it's true. But the problem is when you do the least you can do, you end up with something that will not in the long run do what people want it to do. Now, there are some people who are looking for you to only do something short term, and they'll tell you as much a lot of times. And in those instances, you still probably don't want to do the bare minimum, but uh, you don't want to maybe do as much work as you would for something that, uh, you know, that, they, that they're looking to have stick around for a while. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had people say, yeah, I started by doing this, and then I built on this to do that, and then I built on it to do this, and now it's this behemoth that you see now. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean they actually work themselves into a posi position because people saw that it could do more, could do more, could do more. So the point is, whether you whether you start out at the bare minimum, which typically I don't suggest either, and move your way up to more, uh, or whether you actually work to do more up front and just try very hard to make it so that you're not taking forever and not building something giant that doesn't do what people want up front. I don't suggest just doing the least that you can get away with. I just don't. It's just not a good idea. Uh, all right, I'm running out of time. It is Thursday, the 9th of September today of 2021. That means tomorrow will be Friday, the 10th of September. This is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. Uh, again, that Friday coming up, that'll be nice, uh, per particularly for those of us who had the four-day week this week of actual work. 
Uh, so I hope that you're planning on a good, good restful weekend. I'm not sure that it worked that way for last people on the, or m- most people on that last weekend. Maybe it did, and if it did, that's great too. Uh, thank you for coming along, whether on Rumble, on the podcast, or on YouTube. You can give me remember a positive Rumble on Rumble, a negative Rumble if you choose to do so. Rumble being my preferred platform, as I've said many times. Uh, you can give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, that is a like or a dislike on YouTube if you want to do that. Regardless what you, what um, feedback in that regard you leave, I'd love it if people would leave me comments so that I knew whether or not, know that whether or not the content that, content that I'm producing is worth anything to you. I really want for you to tell me if it's not because I want to produce content that you're going to be happy with. Uh, today's subject has been the bare minimum. Tomorrow we're going to talk about the tyranny of the majority. And I want to point out some things that I think a lot of people don't think of a lot of the time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, but I hope you're having a good day today. I hope everything is going well for you. And hopefully we will see you on Friday's edition of the Daily Submission from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video was recorded on Thursday, the 9th of September of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re- Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon if you want to support me. That's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.